A few days ago, a friend in Japan, Professor Suzuki Takane, sent me a poem by Yosano Akiko, which I had read many years ago, but had never translated. And she asked if I would translate it. So that's what I've done today. But first, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on this particular poem. In the spring of 1911, Yosano Akiko made her first trip overseas. Her husband, Tekkan, had been in France waiting for her for some months. Uh, in February of that year, 1911, she had given birth to her eighth child. So not long after that, she went to France, and in May, she wrote the poem that I'm going to read to you today. The interesting thing about this poem, and there are many interesting things as you'll hear, is that she uses the word for poppy, not the usual word hinageshi, but kokuriko, very unusual for Japan. She's taken it directly from the French kokliko, which means a certain shade of red, but is also the name for the wild red poppy in France. So here's the poem, and uh, first I'll read it. It's a tanka, 31 syllables, and first I'll read it in Japanese. She uses the old name for Mei Satsuki as well in this poem. Ah, Satsuki, Fransu no noa, hi no irosu, kimi mo kokuriko, ware mo kokuriko. And in English, Ah, charming, graceful May, as flame red as the poppy fields of France that cover the earth. You are a single poppy standing in that French earth, as am I. 